cutting the grass getting too pricey. A school district can't afford it. So their plan? Bring in the goats. Well, on its face, it sounds silly, but that's how desperate the Brevard County School District is. The news station's Mike Magnoli is live tonight with more goats, Mike? Luann and Charles, it used to be that every school had an outside custodian, but then in 2013, the lawn cutting duties went to the district, and now the district can't keep up. Goats. Right now, they're being used on the West Coast to eat the grass and lower the risk of wildfire. Here on Space Coast, one official says, bring them in to manage lawns and athletic fields at schools where the grass is growing unsightly. All our schools are struggling right now with budgets, and we have to look for creative ways to solve problems. And the goats are one creative way. Will it work? I don't know, but I think it's worth exploring. Tina Deskovich, Brevard County School Board Chair, has got an idea. She got it from three students at Indian Atlantic Elementary School. They gave her a presentation, about five minutes long, detailing the concept. Uh, even at our kindergarten playgrounds, we're up to almost the waist of those little tiny kids. Uh, it doesn't take much to get that high. Deskovich says the school board had another thought inmate labor, but there are safety concerns about that, and the sheriff says his crews are already booked. The school system has 20 workers, but nearly 2,000 acres to cover. They need backup, but the board can't afford to hire more manpower or buy more equipment. Many people in the room laughed when I brought up the idea. Uh, they keep asking if I'm serious, and I think it could happen. So what's next? Well, the district is asking for GOAT proposals, and there's a teacher and a school volunteering. They say if you're going to do this, let us be the pilot program. Live in Brevard County, I'm Mike Magnoli, Fox 35 News.